Hello everybody, Mark the to you, and uh, six years ago today I uploaded my first Let's Play video. And I want to upload this video as a way to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me these past couple years. Because I've been having a lot of fun making these videos for you guys, and I have so many ideas for what I want to do in the future. And I just wanted to say I really appreciate each and every single viewer who watches my videos. Because there's a lot of time and effort that goes uh, behind each and every single one of them. So, it's really nice to see that, um, even though I'm not the biggest YouTuber in the world, and I know I never will be, it's really nice to see that I have a dedicated uh, uh, number of viewers who will always come back uh, to watch these videos. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been watching. With that being said, let's go over what happened in 2017, my plans for this year, and just a couple other fun things I want to talk about. This is mostly just going to be a very unscripted video, so if I ramble on, I apologize for that. This is probably not going to be the most professional video ever, but I just wanted to talk about a couple things. So last year, we completed four Let's Plays, The Wind Waker HD, Earthbound, Splatoon, and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. These were all really fun games, and I had a really fun time making each and every single one of them. Earthbound has no doubt been uh, my favorite project of the past couple years. Um, I've not kept that a secret at all. A lot of work went behind that series in particular, and I was really happy with pretty much every single video that came out. And it was also a really nice learning experience uh, for how I can handle RPGs in the future. And same thing can be said to a certain degree with Splatoon as well, because that series was also a pretty great learning experience for how I can handle online multiplayer games in the future. And it was just really fun playing through those games. And I will say this right now, I'm so glad that I did the Wind Waker HD when I did, because a majority of the planning behind that series revolved around the treasure charts, and how I handled that in the Let's Play was that whenever we got one, there will be an annotation on screen that will take you to a future video where we got the reward for it. And uh, it was just really happy, I was just really happy that I did the Let's Play when I did, because I would have been so sad if uh, halfway through the series I was no longer able to add those annotations, so like all that hard work would have been uh, useless. But I'm really glad that I did when we were HD when I did. That being said, it makes me sad that I won't be able to do anything like that for a future Let's Play, but at the same time, at, uh, when annotations were being taken away, it's not like I really had any plans for them in the future, to be completely honest. But enough about that. Let's talk about Luigi's Mansion and Darkman real quick, because uh, this is a pretty interesting one. This was something that had been delayed multiple times uh, for years, and the fact that it's over, and it's been over for a while now, it's still kind of mind-blowing. Same thing with Earthbound. And this is my first uh, Let's Play of a 3DS game, uh, at least with the capture card. And it was pretty interesting kind of learning how to use my 3DS capture card for recording and experimenting with a couple of videos, such as that one that I made about the demo for Kirby Planet Robobot. Uh, so that was a pretty great learning experience. And I have better equipment now to record 3DS games, so... Going forward, my 3DS Let's Plays just should have higher quality, and hopefully they won't have those weird screen glitches that happened all the time <laughs> during the Secret Mine. So, yeah, that pretty much sums up my thoughts on those Let's Plays. Um, and a couple other things also happened as well. They're pretty big, that's to talk about as well. Uh, I did my first vlogging series, where I went to PAX West 2017, which was my very first video game convention ever, and I vlogged my trip there. It was very interesting. I'd never really vlogged before, so, like, I remember prior to that I was asking James uh, for advice on vlogging and he gave me some helpful tips, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what you guys thought of those vlogging videos, but I know that I had a pretty fun time working on them, um, and PAX West in general was just really fun, like, not just because I got to play some awesome games and uh, see some amazing cosplayers, but I got to meet some of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Like, I got to meet John Conroy, Masei Nella, Josh Jepsen, Ataki Two Kansas, Tilika Brisson, Proton John, Tom Fox, uh, Lukajin. Just so many amazing people, and it was really fun. Like, I have a couple of fun stories that I'll get out of the way real quick. Um, there was a meetup with the Runaway guys after they did their Throne Controls panel. I didn't record this or anything like that. But, well, I did take a couple pictures, which you'll probably see on screen right now if I remember to edit that into the video. Um, but I remember after I was signing those 
after the runway guys assigned my pack tickets, I remember I was trying to get a picture with all of them together, but they were also kind of busy with the other fans in that group, so Tom Fox held my camera while I snuck behind them and got a picture. This was one of my favorite pictures, and what was really fun was that when I posted this onto Twitter, Chuck Connery himself replied to that picture. It was just really, it was just really awesome. <laughs> and I remember when Tom Fox was signing my PAX badge, he almost accidentally um, gave me the marker, and I gave it back to him, and he was like, oh yeah, that's mine. <laughs> it was just a really fun experience, and I'm really excited for PAX East 2018, so that I'll be able to vlog again, because I had a lot of fun with that. And moving on, we have something that was pretty big that happened last year as well. We started a new collaboration channel game with the James Rose and Peggy Garman. We had Green Cripples Gaming on there for a little while, but then he left and it's already sad and all, but we're moving forward with our future projects and I'm really excited to uh, share what we have planned for 2018 with you guys. Currently, we are uploading Super Mario 3D World Versus with the James Rose and myself. We have a couple of other projects planned for the near future as well. We don't really have a set schedule on which one we're going to be doing first. I have some ideas for which ones we'll be doing first, but uh, even if I did know for sure, I can't really announce them right now because uh, it's still pretty far away from uh, right now. But I've been having a lot of fun recording videos for a game. Uh, the discussions, as usual, get pretty hectic and they're just really fun to record. Uh, I guess one thing that I can say uh, for sure is that Pink Garman and I will be doing a Versus at some point this year. I will say what game we're going to be doing, but I'm just going to say that it's been a really fun experience um, recording Let's Plays uh, for the game channel. And that pretty much is everything that I want to talk about for what happened last year. So let's talk about my plans for 2018. I've already announced that the Portal will begin sometime in the spring. And I'm going to go over more about when exactly this will happen, because it's a little complicated, and I think I should really explain this to you guys. Basically, what's going to happen is that Tomb Raider Anniversary is going to end just a little bit before Super Mario Galaxy. And what my plan is, is that we're going to begin uploading Portal after Tomb Raider Anniversary is done, and Portal and Mario Galaxy will end at the same time. Hopefully that will work out, I'm not entirely sure, because uh, uh, my estimation for when Super Mario Galaxy will end it kind of changes from time to time, so I'm not entirely sure when that series will end. So after Portal and Super Mario Galaxy are over, we're also going to begin Tomb Raider Underworld, which is the very last game in the Tomb Raider Trilogy project. This is a game that I've not covered at all in the past before, so this will be the first game in the Tomb Raider Trilogy that's like brand new for the channel. And I'm really looking forward to this one, because there's a lot of planning that went behind this game in particular, because I want to demonstrate both the Xbox 360 and the Wii versions of this game, because they're both very different, and I want to give you guys... Um, I want to give you guys a look at both of these games so you can decide which version of the game to get for yourself. That's kind of like what the whole planning process behind that series has been revolved around. And... Uh, we're also going to have another Let's Play that will start around the same time Tomb Raider Underworld does. And I think you guys can agree with me that this Let's Play is uh, quite the tale. Let's Play number 24 will be Super Mario 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS. This is easily my favorite Mario game on the 3DS. I've replayed it so many times, probably more so than Mario Galaxy 2 to be completely honest. And I'm really looking forward to let's play this game for you guys. So as for the details about how the series will work, it will end roughly around the same time as Tomb Raider Underworld. Every video will cover an entire world in the game, with the exceptions of World 8 and the Special World 8. Those will be split into multiple videos because of how long they are. So that's pretty much everything there is to say about 3D Land. It's going to be a 100% guide through all eight of the main worlds and all the special worlds and the very final level, which probably going to take an eternity to record because of how difficult it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed the rage throughout that series. And that's pretty much everything there is to say about Super Mario 3D Land. So what's going to happen after Tomb Raider Underworld Super Mario 3D Land? I can't really say. Not just because I don't want to give away my plans for the year, 
but I also kind of flip-flop between which games I want to do first. I'm sure other Let's Players out there who are watching this know the pain of having too many games they want to Let's Play and it being a nightmare to decide which one to do first. So, I'm kind of scatterbrained over which one I want to do after Tomb Raider Underworld, but I will say this for sure. At some point in 2018, we will be Let's Playing a Nintendo Switch game. So with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about live streaming, because this is something that I've started up recently. I've done a couple of streams um, before, like Super Mario 3D Land and Portal and Ocarina of Time 3D, and I want to say that I have a lot of plans for live streaming in the future, but it's not going to replace Let's Playing as my primary focus. Live streaming is basically just going to be what happens if I can't get a video out during a weekend, and... I want to have some kind of content available for you guys, so if I can't get a video uploaded, then I will have a live stream uh, so you guys at least have something to watch. With all that being said, I have one more thing that I'd like to talk about uh, before we move on uh, to the big thing about this video. There is a Let's Play project that I started writing notes for a couple months ago. This is easily the largest project that I've ever worked on, even outside YouTube. This is much, much bigger than Earthbound, both in how much content there is in the game and how many videos it's going to take to complete this series. I have absolutely no idea when this Let's Play will begin. Because this is such a big game, it's kind of hard for me to figure out what year I'm even going to be Let's Playing this game in. It could be next year, it could be two years, it could be five, I don't know. It's just going to take a really long time to plan out. And with all that being said, I want to thank you guys one more last time for watching my videos these past couple years. And as a way of saying thank you, and because I did this last year and it was very well received and things like that, I want to give you guys the ability to choose an upcoming Let's Play again. So, the games I've decided this time around, um, how you can vote is there will be a card on the corner of the screen where you can click on that and there will be a poll that you can vote with. And there will also be something on my Twitter account, which you can also vote for as well. And within like a week or so, the game that has the most votes will be the one that I end up let's playing in the future. Here are the games that I'm considering. Super Mario Odyssey. The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Tomb Raider 2013. And Pikmin 2. Feel free to vote for which game you want to see in uh, the comments below. You can also vote for which game you want to see on the poll on the card on the corner of the screen. And I will also have a poll on my Twitter account, which will be over in about a week or so. So in about a week or two, I'll be able, I'm going to count up the votes and decide which game um, uh, you guys want to see first. And with all that being said, I will be looking forward to what we have planned for 2018, both on my own channel and on the game channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my Let's Plays these past six years, and until next time, Lady Gear to you.